We go to the uh, Democratic Alliance now in the Western Cape that is electing new leaders. The party is holding its provincial congress in Cape Town and vying for top post posts is former MEC Bonginko Simatigizela and the province's MEC for infrastructure. That's Tertia Simmers. Matigizela has again thrown his name in the hat for the election or to be elected party leader since uh, back in 2017. We'll listen in to the proceedings. <laughs>
for additional main bill, Dr. Benita Bell.
not compromise your values and principles. You go to these people in the back and you go. My commitment to you is a commitment that I will execute together with the team for the next three years. And what is that commitment? That commitment is to ensure that we will deliver an excellent electoral outcome to make And our words from today on must be one and the same. We are closing a very painful chapter for the BA Western Cape. But it's a new season, it's a new leadership, it's a leadership that's based on BA Cape. My colleagues, and some of you are mayors, some of you are deputy mayors, major members. What we will do today is moving forward, become stronger to do it together, but we'll do it for each other and the party we all love, the DA Western Cape. But above all, when we leave this summary venue, we will now return to our wards, to our constituencies, and take our communities and our voters along with us. We have a clear battle plan for next year's election, a very, very clear plan, and that plan is to ensure that we remain the government party, but that also in all your areas we do see phenomenal growth in terms of where we are heading. And where we are heading is towards an innovative DA Western Cape. And like I committed to you in my manifesto, it's a 10 year plan. And thank you for firstly voting in support of that 10 year plan, which means we all want to see the DA Western Cape in the future. A capable young leaders, and some of them are here on the stage with me for a lady. But as the Premier earlier said, to be a Western Cape and the Western Cape government is a beacon of hope. And in that, and by being that beacon of hope, we will now ensure that we execute that in terms of service delivery, but also that we take our structures along with us. So they can be a beacon of hope for those people who want to join our party. Our opportunity is now. It's never been a better place for us than going to happen in 2024. And I know you will agree with me that we are ready. Always a spirit. It is our time. Let us know on the state. We say soon, time to act with us in the country. So, for us, we will come on some path to the scientific last to me, to come out of there. But that's all the same stuff. Come on, say, from blow, in a street, you know, so, by the way, to the rest of the land. So, come on some path to, and you come on down, by the way. Colleagues, colleagues, this brings us to the end of the Congress. I can promise you the only people I will phone this week are those that's in the red for the red. And as the live visuals out in Cape Town, Deirdre Simmons is the Democratic Alliance's new leader in the Western Province, making uh, that uh, call saying that they will continue with service delivery to ensure that they maintain their position as the ruling and governing party in the Western Cape. That's